I think Silver Docks is absolutely a great contribution to Washington film life and I wish it could be repeated more often in more places. The movie is based on the outtake from another film called When We Were King. It's a documentary from 1995 about the George Foreman Muhammad Ali bout in, the, uh, in Zaire called The Rumble in the Jungle. And I realized that when we were packing up all the materials and putting it away that in fact there was a whole other movie that we were that we were packing up and, and shipping to storage. Soul Power is a music film. It, it's music. There are no talking heads, no additional footage, just everything that wasn't used in When We Were Kings, he used in Soul Power. I've been making documentaries one way or another for a fearfully long time. The essence of what I'm aiming for, whether I achieve it or not is another matter, is simple storytelling of very strong stories. I happen to think beauty comes in different forms. We are the first ever filmmakers to have filmed Rio's drug lords who are some of the most dangerous, feared people in the world. It is very gritty, but that's what their life is like. We just happened to be there when it happened. Everybody at Silver Docks are, you know, doing this kind of remarkable thing, which is providing a A plus, you know, world class film festival of documentaries. And there there needs to be a film festival that really is in a position to kind of play leader of all of them. I see every indication that Silver Docks is that festival and that's a really exciting thing. 20 years ago, I was cast as the child star of Troll 2, which has become known as the worst movie ever made. And uh, Troll 2 was this disastrous horror movie that was made in 1989 by non-English speaking Italians. This was my first role as an actor. I was 10 years old and I was sure that I was going to be a movie star. Uh, the movie came out and I was dreadfully embarrassed. I wanted nothing to do with Troll 2. It was, uh, it was, it was, a, it was a train wreck of a film. And you can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it! What are you going to do to me, Daddy? Tighten my belt by one loop so I don't feel hunger pains. I started getting emails from people who were claiming that they were fans of Troll 2. They're organizing these parties you know, in the basements of their house and there'd be eight or nine kids that would come together and, and you know, eat green food and dress up as goblins. Uh, one morning, soon after that, I, I woke up with a completely different mentality and I just thought, man, I'm the star of the worst movie ever made. This is pretty cool, there's a story here. And at that time, that's when I came up with the idea for best worst movie. sponsored Silver Dock since, since we've been open. This is, I think, our fourth or fifth year of sponsoring it. It's fun for us to show it off at least once a year for a week to people from all over the place. Thank you, AFI, for bringing the Silver Dock.